He leaves behind family. Friends. Fellow Marines. And a grateful nation. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Will was one of our best. Look, we take care of our own. If you ever need any... Excuse me, Private Mitchell. I'm Jonathan Irons. I'm Will's father. Mr. Irons, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. I'm sure you are, Sergeant. Private Mitchell, you were Will's best friend. You both paid too high a price for your country. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Son? I want to offer you a second chance. Mr. Irons, Mitchell's been discharged with his injuries. I'm aware of his injuries, Sergeant. At Atlas, we have prosthetics that are 20 years beyond anything the military could offer you. Will told me what kind of soldier you were. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. Think about it. Don't let Will's death be in vain. Sergeant. Sloppy, Mitchell. You're a dead man. Reset! No excuse for equipment failure. Best weapon you have is the one between your ears. Use it. Resetting simulation. Everyone return to your starting positions. It was his arm, sir. I knew it was too early. That arm's worth more to me than this entire facility. How's my boy doing? He's a work in progress. Well, keep working. This is a great soldier. It's a sad day indeed when the military has no use for good men like you. Jump in. I'll give you the tour. Joker, we're bringing Mitchell over to R&D. Get the sim prep for another run. You got it, boss. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. Unlike the government, we don't keep secrets of our capabilities. We don't sell policy, we sell power. We are a superpower for hire. Power isn't just about the ability to destroy. Atlas has built infrastructures in places like Korea, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. We do in a few years what it takes governments decades to accomplish. In fact, the truth is, we're often more effective than the governments that hire us. As my son found out the hard way. Mitchell. I know you're not in this for the money. You remind me a lot of Will in that way. Now go get that arm fixed. All right, over here. Get to the Wolver! Looks 
like we have an operator on our hands. He's getting there, sir. He's ready for some real work. Good job, son. Welcome to Atlas. Bidling from command. Let's show them what Atlas can do. The KVA have been terrorizing this region for far too long. It's time to send them a message. A handshake with the Prime Minister, I can turn this entire region around. So take him alive. No pressure. Prussia? Well, Prussia. Good luck. Whatever happened to that guy we pulled out of the drink anyway, huh? Uh, Lions took that with him. It's fine by me. Badass, man. Fucking badass. As you were, son. As you were. Is there uh, something we can help you with, sir? Well, a glass would be a start. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Gather around, gents. There's an old military saying. You treat your men like you would your own beloved sons, and they'll follow you into the deepest valley. I lost my son, and it taught me the importance of seizing the moment, of saying what needs to be said when you have the chance. You gentlemen did a hell of a job out there. Lagos has opened up fantastic opportunities for Atlas. And for that, I am grateful. To you, gentlemen. It's a single source. Has the intel been verified? The intel is good. Hades is meeting with his financial backers in Santorini 24 hours from now. Mr. Irons, the protocols for mounting an assault This on... man is responsible for 50,000 deaths, General. We are going in. An operation on foreign sovereign soil? It would be an act of war without congressional approval. Atlas is an internationally registered private company. We don't need Congress. Gentlemen, are we operational? We're at the ready, sir. You're the trigger. I want your team on the ground in six hours. On whose authority? On my authority! Team, I don't need to remind you how important this mission is. Hades is responsible for the nuclear attacks four years ago. We bring him down, we bring down the whole KVA network. There's no room for error. Get it done. At last, time ran out for Joseph Chiquetze, better known as Hades, leader of the KVA and mastermind behind the devastating attacks of four years ago. We recently spoke with Jonathan Irons, founder and CEO of Atlas International, the private military corporation responsible for hunting down and killing Hades. Congratulations, you've achieved what no government was able to. Thank you, Wendy, but the real heroes of the day are the men and women of Atlas. I couldn't be prouder of what they accomplished out there this week. There are rumors that the UN will offer you a seat on the Security Council. Can a life in politics be far behind? Well, I like to get things done, so no. But look at what we've done in New Baghdad. Forty years ago, we pulled out of Iraq with that place in ruins and our tail between our legs. And now, it's a testament to what happens when you put efficiency before bureaucracy. The last four years have been huge for you. In the wake of the KVA attacks, Atlas has become the world's biggest corporation. And you now preside over the world's largest standing military. So what's next for Jonathan Irons? Did you tell anyone you were coming? No, so what? Scrambler will only buy us a few minutes. Sink to my HUD, I have to show you something. What the hell's going Just on? Just watch this. That's Irons, with the technologist you saved. The guy we pulled from the river? He never made it back to Nigeria. KVA are planning an attack. They told me everything. What, what kind of attack? Power plants, all over the world. They, they wanted me to compromise the security systems. Where are they planning on hitting? Seattle, Paris, Tokyo. Thousands will die. We have to tell someone. No. We have to tell everyone. It's okay, it's all right. I'm gonna take care of this right now. Fuck me. 
He knew it. He knew and he let it happen. All those people dead and he fucking profited from it. Where did you get this? Hades. His last act before he died was giving us this. How do you know it's not from It was coded and encrypted in our own algorithm. It's from Atlas. No one has seen this but us. We need to get out of here. Now! We saw it. We saw everything. You saw what? You knew about the attacks. All those innocent people. You saw people. a forge? Okay, Knox. I'm opening up the channel. Fab. Ready to receive. All Everybody thinks their ideas are right. That's why the people you call terrorists call themselves freedom fighters. The fundamentalists think they're right, the capitalists think they're right, the communists think they're right. And no one will ever convince anyone of anything. And all these honorable men lecturing the world from the floors of congresses and parliaments, whose time has long since passed, refuse to admit, publicly at least, ideas don't determine who's right. Power determines who's right. And I have the power, so I'm right. I am honored to be the first CEO of a private corporation to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Unfortunately, my appearance today has been clouded by a flurry of speculation that my company is developing a weapon of mass destruction which would be capable of targeting specific ethnic groups. I want to address these allegations head on. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. But with all due respect, the United Nations is a relic from a different time when nations were unique in their ability to solve the world's problems. But that just isn't the case anymore, primarily because you have outsourced the job to me. I have sent people to die in your wars. So I feel uniquely qualified to tell you, your wars don't work which is why my priorities have changed from profits to policy, because politicians don't know how to solve problems, but I do. So let's be clear. I am here to solve the world's problems, and I believe the world's problems begin with you. The world is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick. Well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. Citizens of New Baghdad, hold strong. Victory is within our grasp. Look around you. 
and you will see our enemies fall one by one. Each and every one of you can be agents of change. Yes, we will suffer losses, we will suffer setbacks, but make no mistake, we will win. The security that you desire, the security that you deserve, is within our grasp. But it can only be claimed if you are willing to fight for it. Fight for it. Democracy? Democracy. Democracy isn't what these people need. Hell, it's not even what they want. America's been running around the globe trying to install democracies in nation after nation for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. Now, why do you think that is? Because these countries don't have the most basic building blocks necessary to support a democracy. Little things like, we ought to be tolerant of those who disagree with us, or we ought to be tolerant of those who worship a different god than us, or that a journalist ought to be able to disagree with a fucking president. And you think you can walk into this country based on fundamentalist religious principles, drop a couple of bombs, topple a dictator, and start a democracy? <sighs> Give me a break. People don't want freedom. They want rules, boundaries, protections from invaders and from themselves. People need a leader who can both provide the constraints and the support to keep chaos at bay. And you give them that, and they'll follow. And that's where I come in. I wanted to meet the man whose mission it was to kill me. Our mission was to stop you. <laughs> but if that meant killing you, I don't think anybody'd be too troubled. Failure is not something we tolerate here at Atlas, so I'm disturbed that three of my best contractors have failed so miserably. But that's the way it has to be. The wheat from the chaff, the strong from the weak, the ancient Spartans knew the true meaning of warfare. But that truth has been lost to us for two millennia. What of your son, Will? What was he? Wheat or chaff? Will was the victim of the misguided policies of the United States government. Will died fighting for what he believed in. Of course, the tragedy is, dying for what you believe in doesn't make it true. You're not young, but you are strong, Cormac. So I give you 20 minutes to bleed out. Time enough to consider whether it was all worth it. The prodigal son returns. I believed in you. I gave you a second chance. You're nothing like Will. I need to find some light. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. We're sucking into our exos! Come on, Amu! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! 
You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America. Unleashing Manticore, killing thousands of innocent people. I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah, twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know we've stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Now mine. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! Don't let Irons get away! Hurry, Mitchell! Keep going! Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go. So you have to pull me up. Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Mitchell, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell, I gave you that arm. Mitchell. I gave you a second chance! I've got you, mate. I've got you. It's only gonna end one way for it. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. <laughs>